now to the much publicised and talked about uh, sprint race versus Martin. Um, yeah. I know probably everyone talked to you about it um, and and why uh, you, or how and why you beat rugby league's fastest man at the time. Um, what is your take on that run and is that the fastest that you've ever ran? Well, a lot of people ask me about that race and in particular, I don't know if you know, but my background was athletics. So like I said, I, I, had a, I was like a jack of all sports, but not very good at schooling, but knew when all the sports carnivals were on and mainly the athletics and stuff. Like every year I would make it to the state final in athletics right through the high, end of high school. So I remember when I broke into rugby league, Scotty Marne came up to me and, it's, and remembered me from Little Athletics. Oh, okay. He said, I didn't know him because he goes, you used to win all, always <laughs> sprints and I'd always be, his aspirations were to beat me. Okay, yeah. Um, so, yeah, so in the athletics side of things, um, and then you've got a lot of people saying um, that it was rigged or the, something Something went on there, Martin Fire through the race and there was bets. And I think that's all a load of BS, to be honest. Um, I was um, I was always pretty slow out of the box. So our condition, head condition or head trainer was Rob Roland Smith back then. Oh, yes, the great man, yeah. And I told him, because when they asked me, they said, how do you feel about we're going to put this race on um, the curtain raiser at half time? We want you to race Martin Fire. And I read up about him and, you know, and knew what a try scoring machine he was and how fast he was. And there was talk that he was just outside Olympic qualifying times and all this stuff. And all I wanted to do was not embarrass the club and the fans. And yeah. So my goal was just to do as best I could. So I had a chat with Rob Roland Smith and I said, hey, mate, very slow out of the blocks. And I think it was his idea. He said, well, we'll do some training on the starts. That's pretty simple. So we did some training on the starts. And um, that's why when I shot out of the blocks, people said I jumped the start. But I knew because I was training with him being the starter. So I knew when the gun was going to go. Uh, yeah. So I got that start and I just held on to that, um, held on to it and uh, 